Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy King of Lyco Town back for another YouTube video. Today, I'm doing part two of rating celebrities' products. So, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. This year, we're hitting 10,000 subscribers. So, if you're new, you might as well hit that subscribe button. So, let's get this video started. It's a nice day in Milwaukee. Usually, it's cold, but it's about 60 degrees. So, I think it's only right to start it off with some prime lemonade. Let's give this a good shake and let's see how this is. Prime Lemonade. It tastes like blue. It tastes like the prime flavor mixed with like lemonade. So this is pretty good. I'm gonna say this is probably about like a eight out of 10. Um, next we're gonna do, since we're doing prime right away, I'm about to do the other prime. We got Cherry Freeze Prime. And this one's cool because usually this part's white, as you guys can see, but it's blue right now. And if you guys can see, when I hold on to it, it turns white. That's crazy. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but it turned white instead of blue. Let's try this Cherry Freeze Prime. That tastes pretty good. I'm gonna say that's probably about, I think that tastes better than the lemonade actually. I'm gonna say that this is probably about like a nine out of 10. This might be the best prime I tried. All right, we're about to move on to Mr. Beast new Feastables. Mr. Beast been killing it on YouTube. He's been running the YouTube crazy videos. So we about to try out Mr. Beast's Feastable Almond Chocolate. Let's see how this is. Mr. Beast right on there. This is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. This tastes better than the Hershey Omen. And that's my favorite candy bar is the Hershey Omen. But I think that might be better. Next, we are gonna move on to the queen of rap. Nicki Minaj. She got some barbecuing with honey truffle chips let's see how this is give you guys a nice little preview of it then the back oh yeah i'm gonna put the prices on the screen for you guys too It kind of tastes like the Lay's on um, barbecue chips, but with more honey. But like with added honey. These are pretty good. I'm going to say that's probably about um maybe like a 7 out of 10. So Nicki Minaj's chips were pretty good. Next, we're going to move on to Rick Ross. In the back, Rick Ross Sweet Chili Lemon Pepper. These might be good because I know that he got wing stops all around the world. So... Let's see if this tastes like some Wingstop chicken lemon pepper. Nice red. That's different. That's different. That's pretty good. I'll probably buy these again at the store. I'm going to say that's probably about like an 8 out of 10. I was not expecting it to be like that. Next, we're about to move on to the OGs of rap. We got Snoop Dogg. Cheddar Barbecue. And you guys see the back. Cheddar Barbecue. Snoop Dogg. Let's see what he's talking about with these. Ooh, these are more like a Dorito kind. Let me get a better one for you guys. Like a Dorito. These are pretty good too. I'm gonna get another one. Mm. It needs a little more flavor, but it tastes pretty good. The next rapper that we're moving on to is my favorite rapper of all time, Lil Durk. We are about to be trying Lil Durk's Buttermilk Ranch. 
Here's the back of the chips for you guys. And this price right here wasn't the 229. I had to go personally down to Chicago to get these because these were special edition chips. These right here were Walmart with the Nicki Minaj ones. Those were only $2. These I paid $5 a bag for when I went down to Chicago to go get these chips specially for this video. So let's see how my boy Lil Durk coming with these buttermilk ranch. Well, you can taste the buttermilk in that. That's pretty good. I'm going to say that's probably about like a 7 out of 10. Next, we got Lil Durk again. These ones are hot puff fries with ranch. I'm going to show you guys the back. These right here were about $5 a bag too. I had to go down to Chicago, like I said, to get these specially for this video. So let's see how these ones are. They're like a Cheeto puff, but a lot smaller. They're like a small Cheeto puff. The buttermilk ranch really overpowered those. I don't really taste the ranch with these ones. I just taste like the hot puffs taste. Um, but the buttermilk ranch ones, you can really taste like the buttermilk ranch in there. So I'm gonna say these gotta get a little more ranch to it. All right. Now for the last item, I got Lil Dirk hot puffs without the ranch these are just the regular ones so let's see if these ones are going to be spicy these also were five dollars a bag so let's see how these ones are compared to the ones with ranch they look like the puffs again it looks like the puff again these are pretty good These ones are a lot better than these ones. This one has like a weird um taste with it. It doesn't taste like ranch. You could taste like the Cheeto puffs, but like this one right here, I'll get again. These ones I probably wouldn't, but the buttermilk ranch ones I would too. But I'm gonna say these are probably about like uh maybe like a nine out of ten. I say these ones taste a little bit better than the Cheeto puffs. So that's how my list is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like. Please subscribe if you're new. And comment down below if I should do a part three of this video. And comment down below if I should do a different video when I get different country snacks and try them. Or like exotic snacks again. So if you guys want to see another video, let your boy Aleko know. Follow me on Instagram because I be posting a lot of behind the scenes of my videos there. So you guys can see what I'm doing, how I prepare for these videos and stuff. And King Aleko out. Peace. Thank you for watching. Till the next video.